Welcome. Welcome. You're very welcome. I'm Marta. How can I help you? Relax, sister. We're not chumps. She's a cop, and I'm in on the gag. What do you want? To talk to Sean Barlow. There's no Sean Barlow here. She's almost as bad a liar as you are. You tell Sean, who isn't here, that Patrick Jane is here, and he'd like to talk to him. We'll wait. Patrick Jane, it is you. I didn't believe her. Oh, uh, Mr. Barlow. Oh, call me Sean, my boy, Sean. Well, I haven't seen you since you were, what, 15? You haven't changed a bit. And you brought a policewoman with you. Great pleasure to meet you, young lady. Come on upstairs and let's catch up. I've been following your doings, Patrick. I know why you're here. Well, of course you do. My grandfather came over from Ireland with this one's great-grandfather. His father and I were great friends. He was a wicked man, but I loved him. A wicked man? You're a spiritual person, aren't you, Teresa? You believe in life after death. Yes. Then you'll agree it's a sad thing to be an unbeliever, to have no faith. Yes. And when faithless men use the faith and belief of others to steal from them with lies like the Janes do, that's sad and wicked. I agree. I don't do it anymore. No. A lawman now. It's atonement you're after, is it? Well, the Janes never pretended to have power, especially with people in the show, but uh, the Barlows always tried to pass themselves off as real psychics. Because we are. Oh, you said you knew why we were here. Yeah, it was on the news. Eileen is dead, murdered. You don't seem so upset about it. She was already dead to me when she left the family for that scum. I mourned her passing long ago. I want the baby, though. She'll be raised a Barlow. Where were you the night before last? Oh, I was far away, communing with the spirits. Where were you? Let me see. I'm lying in bed, thinking of Patrick. You're a little in love with him, eh? But he's so secretive and controlling. That's hard, isn't it? We're here because of Eileen. It was that scum Roddy Turner killed her, no doubt. Well, Roddy and his uncle say it was you. <laughs> Words are cheap. It was Roddy she was afraid of, wasn't it? It was him and God knows he'll pay. Well, whoever killed Eileen and took Caitlin, they had help from Red John, and you're more the Red John type of man. Red John, any punk killer who wants to fool with you can paint a smiley face on the wall. Who is Red John? It was Red John. Red John has your mind completely messed up. You see him every place you look. You think you're getting closer, but he is just playing with you. We'll see. Has it never occurred to you to ask exactly how Red John is always one step ahead of you? How is it he seems to read your mind? You tell me. Red John's got powers real psychic powers that you refuse to believe in. Teresa will hear what I'm saying, but you've no faith, so you're deaf to the truth. He's got powers. That's why he'll always defeat you. So I take it you have no alibi for the night before last? No. No, I don't. Thank you for your time, Mr. Barlow. Entirely my pleasure. It's odd, isn't it, how the daughters of alcoholics so often are the best kind of women? When you find the baby, bring her to me. She'll be well looked after. That's not the way it works. Oh, does it not? I'm sure we'll sort something out. Think on what I said. It's honest advice from a friend. Good seeing you, Sean.